Hi, I'm James from Binks Balustrades and today we're going to do a quick video review on a few different types of glass cleaners to showcase to you which we think is the best product and why. Today we're going to showcase you three different types of cleaner, two different active foaming glass cleaners, a cheap version and a more expensive version and an everyday glass cleaning spray solution. We're going to showcase the cheap active foaming spray first and then we'll move on to the more expensive one and then the generic glass cleaner. So the benefits of using the active foam glass cleaner is the spray foams up on the glass encapsulating the dirt on the surface of the glass enabling you to clean it off properly without scratching the glass surface uh, as you would do if you were using tissue. If you use a microfiber cloth the dirt gets down deep in the pores and as you're cleaning the surface you're using the cleaner to clean the surface off instead of rubbing the dirt onto the surface of the glass which eventually will cause misting on the glass surface. So we're going to uh, spray the cheaper foam on the glass first and we're going to clean it off with the tissue just to show you the, the results. So as you can see it does foam up on the glass. And let's clean it with the tissue. Although it does clean a lot of the contaminants off the surface of the glass, it stays there, it doesn't really evaporate very well you're smearing it all over really. As you can see it does clean the glass but it doesn't lift all the glues off so you've still got spots of glue and we've still got fingerprints all over the top. So in comparison to the cheaper one the more expensive glass foaming cleaner you can see how much more it foams up on the glass surface so this is effectively foaming up underneath the dirt encapsulating it all and using a microfiber cloth as opposed to a tissue See how it's not leaving any residue behind. It's evaporating as I'm cleaning it. And as you can see, it's totally removed all that glue from the surface. So as you can see, the difference between the cheaper version and the more expensive version, and the more expensive version foams up much, much more on the surface of the glass. It easily removes the glue from the corner of the glass as well, and it also lifts off the, the dirt much easier uh, when you're polishing the face of the glass. So we're now going to show you the generic everyday glass cleaner that we, you can buy in a supermarket and why we don't recommend that you use these types of cleaners when cleaning glass. So here we have the generic everyday glass cleaner that you can buy from a supermarket or your local shop. Uh, this doesn't foam up on the surface of the glass, it basically uses the, the liquid to clean off the surface of the glass, removing any oils, contaminants. Um, and general things like that. So basically most people will just spray the glass cleaner on and wipe it off with a tissue. The reason we don't recommend you do this is because all you're doing is you're spraying a liquid onto dirty glass and scrubbing the dirt into the glass surface with the tissue whereas the active foam removes the dirt from the surface. As you can see sticks on the glass, it doesn't really evaporate very well and although it does clean the glass surface you've effectively just encapsulated all the dirt onto the tissue and scrubbed it into the surface of the glass. This over time will eventually cause misting on the pane of glass and it will become less clear and you'll eventually have to replace the glass. So as you can see in summary this more expensive active foaming glass cleaner is a far better product, it cleans the glass surface much easier which is why we recommend this product and which is why we supply it to our customers as part of our aftercare kit. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on the products that we reviewed today, drop us an email. We'll be quite happy to have a talk with you about it uh, and we'll be releasing more videos soon.